In this video, we're going to go over the Smart Tools autoresponders in SMS it. On the left hand side, you're going to scroll down to Smart Tools, click the little drop down arrow, and then choose autoresponders. That'll open up this screen here. Now, to create an autoresponder, we'll simply mouse over the Actions button and click Add Autoresponder. First things first, we select what group we want this to go out to. So I'm going to send this out to Matt group and I'm just going to call it touching base message. Now, if you've got a message template you've built, you could always click on that and it will auto populate that, or you can just leave it blank and fill in your own. If you go back to, um, leaving it blank, you'll want to delete that message at the bottom. If you've got a mobile splash page that you want to include, you could select that, but I have not selected one. If you want to send it as an MMS, you can upload an image. Uh, if you want to include a file, you can include a file. Um, notice that there are merge tags available. So if you have people's names in there, um, these are the merge tags. It's simply 2% signs followed by the merge tag over there. So um, you can put any of those in there if you wanted to populate that data automatically. Now, I would recommend if you're going to use merge tags, already build out some templates, which we'll cover in another video. So in the message, um, this is what's going to automatically go out to someone after they're added to your list. And remember, they're going to get that initial message that you set up in your group list. So this is something that you'd say, hey, I want this to go out maybe two days after they've joined my list or six hours after they've joined my list. It all depends on what type of business you've got going on. For example, if you're a restaurant, maybe you want to give somebody a reason to come back to your restaurant. So you may want to create an autoresponder that says something like, uh, show this coupon or show this message on your next visit to SMS it cafe to get 10% uh, off your total purchase. And then I may paste in a link for my digital coupon here that I've created, and I might make that digital coupon expire within three days. So that would encourage somebody to come back. Now I would say, I'm gonna have this sent, let's say three hours after they text in to join my list. What that does is it will land in their inbox after they get home and make them go, oh man, I should go back to that place. Or let's say I want it to come out uh, two days after they've dined at my restaurant. And if you mouse over this question mark, it'll show you some of the information here. Okay. So you could take a look at that. So if somebody joins your list and let's just say, you're a restaurant, you've got a program, you say, hey, you know, text in, join our club, and you're going to get a special offer sent to your phone uh, that'll save you some money next time you come in and dine with us. Now I'll say, I want this to go out to them two days after they sign up. Uh, all I have to do is hit save. And now when somebody joins this group by texting in the keyword, two days later, they're going to receive this message encouraging them to come back to my business and do business with me again. It's literally that easy to set up an autoresponder in SMS it. Now, once you've created the autoresponder, uh, you can create an unlimited number of these. So maybe I've got one for one day after two days after, but keep this in mind as a best practice. Typically, you don't want to overload people with text messages or they will reply stop and opt out. So for any business, I typically would recommend with automations, you want to do it no more than about once per week. But autoresponders are an amazing way to keep top of mind awareness and keep people coming back to your business. And that's how easy it is to create autoresponders in SMS it.